Could you tell me a bit more about Logan Energy? Uh, yes, Logan, we've been in business 18 years. We started off installing fuel cells. We now uh, install systems that are powered by fuel cells. So we do complete combined heat and power, combined cooling heat and power systems and that nature of thing. And we've gone downstream uh, from that uh, and upstream, in fact. So we do, we do hydrogen production at point of use and we do storage and dispensing for fork trucks and vehicles, that type of stuff. And what are your main uh, applications? You mentioned port, uh, forklifts there. A anything else? Uh, no, they, our main application, our main application, the business we're in, is large-scale fuel cells driving big commercial industrial uh, systems in, in plants. So uh, we're presently installing a building, a, 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 a CHP scheme at the bottom of Regent Street in a 400,000 square foot complex, for instance. Um, and um, are you looking outside the UK or just looking to grow for here, here first? Uh, and no, we're, 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 we are looking to expand. We're, we're, we have a project going in Hungary at the moment. Uh, we're quite close to a project in Latvia and uh, we have several inquiries, I think. Uh, we have a number of inquiries in Germany, some in Spain, a uh, big project in Greece. Um, where things like that. Yeah, overseas is important. Mm. And, and what type of fuel cells do you use and uh, where do you source them? Uh, well, the fuel, we, we are not a manufacturer, so we're independent both for technology and um, for the manufacturers. So we try and suit the, uh, the fuel cell to the application. Um, the life is that most of them come from America or Canada at the moment because they're 30 years ahead of Europe roughly in production terms. Um, and uh, certainly until very recently, by which I mean about four years ago, it wasn't possible to source a European fuel cell anyway. Um, so our first 15 years, everything came from North America. Most of them are American. Um, but about 40% of the whole fuel cell industry is Canadian built, actually. So that's where we are. Mm. And where are you hoping to expand? Uh, we, we have, we have a, uh, we're hoping to expand into South America quite rapidly because we have two very large inquiries, one in Brazil and one in Argentina. Um, and essentially the inquiries are of a size that they would fund an expansion into the area anyway if they turned into a project. Mm. So, yeah. And um, wh where do you see fuel, fuel cell technologies going in terms of application in the next 10 to 15 years? Uh, my personal view, because of the cost per kilowatt, which at the end of the day drives everything, I think that the, the distributed generation market will get well ahead of, of the game and I think transport will come along behind it. Um, I think niche transport will happen before cars, although there's so much now invested in fuel cells in cars that they're going to be out there in, to some sense. But there, it's a very long time before you and I are going to be able to afford to buy one, so there'll be some other method for getting them out there. Um, but they, they make sense in some marine applications. Um, they make very good sense right now. Since 2008, all the orders we've taken for fuel cells for large building projects have not required a subsidy. They work without subsidy. So I think that's, I think that'll filter down from there. And uh, what you, you, you were speaking today at the conference, uh, what, what, what was your topic? Um, my, my topic was called unsubsidized fuel cell systems, um, and I was just, I was trying to, to some extent, lay this ghost of fuel cells being future technology. As you see, we've been installing them now for 18 years. We have more than 170 systems installed. Uh, some of those systems have been installed and running for over eight years now. Um, so I was trying to lay that ghost, and I was also trying to make the point now that with the right application. It works as a commercial product in competition with your reciprocating engines or whatever. Mm -hmm.